Hey, what's going on, Dividend Team? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another amazing episode on Dividend Rich Channel. This week, we are going to be discussing what I bought, dividends that I have that I've got coming in, and my portfolio value. We're going to do a little update, guys. Look at there. Yeah, you know what to do with this. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you thumbs it up. Let's go ahead and transition over to our screen here so I can show you what we have. Move this guy over. Let's see, can y'all see that? Yes, you can. So we are gonna be discussing today the current value of what I'm holding. Market value is $70,522 in my brokerage account. My taxable brokerage account, not my IRA, not my 401k, just my regular brokerage account. Let's see what we have. We got some ABBV, we got Amazon, Air Products, Ford, Coca Cola, Lowe's, Londo, Realty Inco Income, Corporate REIT, Pepsi, PepsiCo, Tesla, Waste Management, Walmart, and our ETFs. We are holding FLQL, JEPI, QQQY, SCHD, SPH, SPGP. SPHD, TSLY, that's a yield max Tesla opt income. BOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. We got BTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. BUG, Vanguard Growth ETF. And XYLD, which is the Global X S and p 500 Covered Call ETF. So let's go ahead and get into our investment income. See what we got here, guys. We'll be looking at for the year. What do we get in February? So February is over. We received one hundred three dollars in dividends. We're gonna be going through those dividends here in a second of which one paid me. So we'll be looking into that. We can see here for the year. I should be receiving this year. I should be receiving two thousand six hundred fifty-seven dollars in dividend income. Got the drip turned on, so it's going to reinvest, going to grow and grow and grow. As always, make sure you do this. We're going to keep growing. It says the next 12 months, I should have 2811, though. So it's going to grow, going to buy more, and that's what's going to happen. Let's scroll down here, as you can see, what we already received year to date on some of these accounts. We already received them and estimated remaining. That's why I like Charles Schwab. It's all right here, what you already got and what you got coming to you. So our ETFs down here, what we already received, $135. What I still have coming to me is $1,536, guys. So let's talk about what I bought this week. I bought some Ford. How many Ford did I buy? I had 200. Now I have 300. So I picked up 100 shares of Ford, right around $12, maybe a little over $12, picked up 100 shares of Ford. Why did I pick up 100 shares of Ford? Well, let's scroll down here to their dividend because this is a dividend channel. We don't do ridiculous, we we're not chasing ridiculously high dividends, dividend traps and all that stuff. But Ford's been paying their dividend for a very long time and Ford's been around for a very long time. And I think it's just gonna continue to grow and grow. Look at the three-year Kager, 58. 0.7%. That's compounded annual growth rate right here. There it is. Five-year dividend yield average, 3.57. So you keep it in. Time in the market. It's going to grow and grow and grow. And you're going to be wealthy one year if you invest. Let's go back a page. Let's see what we got. What else did I buy? I bought something else. I bought some Walmart. Bought some Walmart here after they, I bought, I had one Walmart already. Maybe I had two and I picked some Walmart up after they did the split. So it's $58 and 76 cents for the Walmart each share. So I picked that up. They did that split. Let's see what the, let's see what the dividend is now. Cause I know the dividend went up before it wasn't that great, but, but now it is better. It's 1.41. I think before it was less than 1%, but now it's 1.41% dividend, which is, I mean, it's decent. It's Walmart's going to keep going and going forever and ever, probably, hopefully. Got our fingers crossed. 
So what else did I buy? I picked up a few other little things, little tidbits. I picked up, what did I pick up? Uh, I don't know. We'll edit that part out. Picked up some Pep, PepsiCo. Picked up a few of those. And Air Products. I picked up 10 Air Products. Let's look at Air Products. Let's see where they're at. Picked up Air Products. Let's look at their five year. So they're up 30% in five years. That's their price. Let's look at their dividend. 3%, guys. 3% dividend. Not bad. Let's look at. The, how much they've been raising their dividend. Look at that, 10%. 10% over five years. Compounding annual growth rate, 10%. 10.1. Not bad. Not bad, guys. Not bad. All right, let's go to my other page. Let's go here to my accounts. Balances. So I have negative $2,000 because I bought some stuff on margin. I got to go to my bank account, swap it over, go in here, swap over $2,000 to my account. So I was in this little buying frenzy. I was like, let me buy some more stuff. I need more stuff. And when it's already at this page, the positions page, I already showed you what I had. You see some of our red. Tesla's down $893. Oh, real cheap income REIT, down $591. Down 18 bucks on Pepsi. I just bought that. It's already down. Coca Cola is down 51 dollars. Well, that Coca Cola has a long-standing dividend streak, so it's gonna it's gonna buy those dividends. Let's take those dividends, buy more shares at a discounted price. It's like using a coupon to buy a dividend or buy a share with the coupon when the stock drops like that. Just buying it cheaper. All these ETFs down here at the bottom are green, except for QQQY. That was just a little scientific test we're just doing to see if it's actually going to pay out in the long run. We just put a few dollars into there, about 300 and something dollars into there, see if it'll pay out, see what it's about. All right, let's go over here to COP. Let's go over here to Retire a Millionaire. So that's where we got 70000 as you can see there. Let's go to our positions. These are all the positions. That you already seen, but this chart shows it a little bit different. You scroll over here, see the annual dividend, yield on cost, dividend yield, annual dividend, portfolio allocation. This is this is my account, but I didn't make this spreadsheet. Uh, this dude Ryan did. I'll see if I can put a link to his stuff on here. Annual shares purchased with dividend. This is a very important column right here. Take those dividends and you repurchase shares. Right, and then those shares every quarter are going to give you more dividends. Those dividends are going to give you more shares. And then year after year, it's compounding over and over and over. Some people think, well, you only got a 3% dividend. How are you getting an 8% yield? What does that even mean? Well, you get this 3% dividend, it buys more shares. The value goes up, get more shares, get more dividends, more shares over and over. 20, 30 years in the market, you're rich. Real simple. Real simple, guys. So let's look at my dividend log. What did I get so far in February? So February, ABBB gave me $23.42. Lowe's gave me $7.83. O gave me $17.94, guys. What else paid me? Jeppy paid me $32.72. XYLD gave me $16.02. $16.02 pennies. Hey. Thumbs up, guys. Subscribe. Don't don't be shy. See with your thumbs up. SPHD gave me bit five dollars and twenty cents for the month of February. I think that's all of my dividends for the month. Did it sell anything? Let's go to my positions. What else do you want to talk about on my positions, guys? We've been on here for nine minutes, all right. Nine minutes. So let's go here, and it says right here, retire a millionaire. I'm 42 years old. I plan on retiring after the age of 55, but before 60. So in this account, if I continue to put my $500 a week over and over and over till I'm at least 55, this account should have $750,000, $800,000 in it, right? So if I retire 56 to 57, there should be a million dollars in this account. That's not 
counting the 1.2, 1.3 that'll be in my 401k and then the $230,000, $240,000 I'll get in my pension. So I should have at least, by the time I'm 57, at least $2.5 million in total of my retirement accounts. And then, you know, after the age of 55, you can use the rule of 55, the Secure Act 2.0 discusses that. Talk with your financial advisor, your tax guy to find out the actual facts on it. But uh, that's what I got. That's what I'm holding. Monthly 225 average, annual 2704 for this year. Next year is going to be above 3,000. Yield on cost 4.19%. Dividend yield 3.84%. Market return 9.15%. So if I'm getting, if I get a 9% every year for the next 14 years, it'll it'll be 950,000 to a million dollars in this account right here. So don't take your money out of your account. Stop smoking cigarettes, stop going to that coffee place, invest $27.40 per day as a young whippersnapper, 25, 30 years old, invest it, you'll get a millionaire when it's time to retire. Stop doing silly things, stop eating out, I talk about this all the time, it'll probably also help if you go get a good job. I'm not telling you to go to college because unless you're an engineer, a doctor, attorney, you're probably not going to get paid well. Uh, are you going to be the are you going to be the CFO of the corporation and get paid well? Start your own business if you want to get paid well. Don't waste two hundred thousand dollars student loans to go to college. That's silly. Save your money, invest it, do what's right for you. You know better, guys. Right here, you know what to do with that. Thumbs it up. We appreciate you stopping by, checking out my portfolio. I know you can do it. Don't be discouraged. Go put your money in the account invest into the market you don't know what to invest in ask google look what i invested in i'm not your financial advisor but you need to start doing something smarter with your money all right guys thanks for stopping by check out my other videos i sure do appreciate it